Hello everybody and welcome to another Fallout 4 settlement build video. In the last episode, well, in, not in the last episode, but like about a week ago, I uploaded a video of this settlement and uh, I talked about how it has such a great potential because of a certain thing you can do here. For example, if we go into console command and we just type disable, goodbye. <laughs> the road segment is gone now. How wonderful. You can even duplicate these things and all of that stuff. All the good things. Uh, I guess somebody forgot to, like, lock these so that way you couldn't do that. Or maybe it's, like, I don't know. Anyway, today I'm taking you on a tour of the refurbished Croup Manor. Um, I mean, it, it looks like it hasn't even been hit by a bomb. Well, I mean, before it looked like it wasn't hit by a bomb, but, like, it looked mo less... It looks less like it got hit by a bomb. Anyway, I'll take you on a quick tour. Of course, I am using some mods for this. And a lot of DLC stuff. So let's go ahead and walk on in. And uh, just ignore this ghoul here from when I cleared it out. So up front, these rails were actually broken. However, I, I did manage to find ones that were re repaired. And I just fixed up this balcony area. I even added a bench here. Um, I don't... Oh, this is, uh, this is for... This is from Northland Diggers. This is a concrete making station right here. And uh, this this section, this roof was also damaged, so I repaired that, and it looks pretty nice. Of course, if you look closely, you can tell where I have um, not really precisely moved pieces together. So that is going to be a consistent thing with this build. Anyway, let's go around here. So this was a, a garage area, and this balcony, you actually see this? This thing is, like, everywhere. Like, a lot of different buildings use this balcony throughout the uh, the game, which is quite interesting. Well, it's not really a balcony, is it? It's like an awning. Anyway, I just placed down one of these special power armor stations here. Uh, there was a motorcycle back here. I didn't want to get rid of that, but I had to, unfortunately. Um, let's just ignore the inside of the house for now. And another thing that's really really quite funny is where there used to be holes in the wall the uh, the settlers kind of think there's still holes in the wall they don't really register that there's walls here so they just kind of path find their way into the walls constantly it's quite nice uh, we'll just close up this door for now we don't need it no don't open that door okay just go in there I don't want to spoil the settlement for everybody okay let's go in the front area welcome <laughs> You know, now that I look at this wall, I think it needs something. I think it needs something on it. Hold on a second. Alright, so if you want to know what the original four floor plan looks like, I recommend just going and looking at my previous video. I don't think I took a whole tour of the place, but it did show quite a bit off of it. This, I think, used to be a doorway, but then I replaced it with this wall from a section that wasn't broken, and it was kind of hard to find sections of wall that weren't broken that were just interior on both sides, because... Most of the walls here that aren't broken are exterior and interior walls, like the sides of them are interior and exterior. I didn't do anything down here for the most part. This is just where we have a generator. Uh, now, if I had the uh, Wasteland Workshop DLC when I first started building this place, I would have placed down a, uh, a very nice generator down there. This is from a mod. This thing is the OC Dispenser. It allows you to make items into things you can place permanently. I, I haven't really used it at all. I just kind of placed it here because it looks nice. Yeah. But this layer is mostly shops. Like, we got a clothing store. We got a bunch of different themed tables. And then over here we got, like, a bunch of Minuteman stuff. And this character, with this character, I sided with the, uh, the Minutemen. So that's quite nice. We got some modded paintings, I think. This is modded? I don't know. Uh, of course, we got some modded shelves back here. Some uh, neon signs. Now, we, I could have actually gotten rid of this. I actually did go through and get rid of a lot of decals. Like, dirty floor things and stuff. We got like a thing over... Wait, this restocked itself? Nice, I'll take that for scrap. Um, lots of potted plants. I feel like they fill the empty spaces of the rooms. And over here we got a uh, purple picture. <laughs> Great textures, great textures. Now, I don't think that, I think this table was here to start originally. I didn't get rid of this table at all. 
Yeah, I didn't replace this. Uh, the only thing I changed here was I added chairs and then a few potted plants and a radio. Which I can't play the radio. I'm sorry. So this is the shopping floor. And le now let's go up to the next floor up top. Here we have... Um, Oh, come on. You all leave the doors open everywhere. Just stop with that. This is the sleeping quarters area. We don't have many beds here, and I haven't really expanded the settlement much yet. I, I think I'm going to add some more buildings to it at some point in the future. So I'll show off that when we do that. But yeah, it's got the basic amenities. We got like a, a stereo, some trash cans. This is a defense station from Vault Tech Workshop. And I felt it looks exactly like this desk, so I placed them next to each other. And I probably assigned somebody to this. Is this assigned? No, it isn't. I'm... Yeah, I only had like three people here when I started off. Do you want a job? Yes, you do. You're gonna go and do this now. Thank you. And of course, no settlement would have been completed without a bathroom. Notice, employees must ha wash their hands. Or before returning to work. Welcome to this place. Oh, and ignore this guy. He's uh, he's not there. Caution. Hazardous material. Caution. Keep out from under crane loads. Caution. A lot of caution here, but no mirrors. Okay. We don't need that. It's just extra junk. Time for the upstairs area. We got a kitchen here. And the roof on this floor was absolutely awful. I had to fix that up. There was a hole in the floor over here. I remember this, and you all will remember this too, because we fixed this up in the episode. Um, and then there's a few more beds. Now, both these bunk beds actually count as two beds. So, wow. Th there's there's um, 16 beds here, technically. I got some ovens placed down. I didn't... I mean, I could have placed them... Whoa, what the heck it just happened there? <laughs> I didn't place them snug against the wall. I could have. I probably should have. I did get this pretty snug against the wall. Now, to repair this, I actually had to use one of the doors from the downstairs area and moved it up here. So I can't really place any doors in this frame. I would have liked to, but no, I can't. This whole wall was gone. And so was a lot of this roof here. Like, this was the only full roof tile here. So I duplicated this like a few times, placed it down, and, uh, yeah, you can see over here, I did some damage here. Um, we got a campfire, a grill area over here, and then up on the very, very top, we have the cannon, some different things, like guard stuff. So, yeah, there we go. So, that's basically the whole settlement right here. Now, I will do more of this in the future, and if I do more, I will show you all. But I'd like to hear what you have to say down below, so... You know, please consider leaving some comments about this place. Uh, maybe you did something similar. I have to go defend Vault 88 now, so I will see you all in the next episode. If you all have enjoyed, you know, please leave a comment, maybe like, maybe subscribe, maybe do all that stuff. I'll see you all next time, and goodbye.